to this, the most interesting and exciting thing I've kept for the last, which I want to share with you is the drone technology. I feel for the last 20 years, drone technology has always been there, but the usage, the potential that drone technology has, it's still not explored to its fullest yet. And one example I can give yesterday, I'm not, um, I shouldn't be taking the credit for what's happening in Andhra today. The credit goes to Honorable Chief Minister there, Nara Chandrababu Naidugaru, who has always been a visionary and encouraging new technologies to come into play in terms of governance. So he was the one who picked up the idea of drones. And when we had uh, huge floods, unimaginable floods in the city of Vijayawada, so he has seen that the drones has the capability of route reaching to those houses which are uh, otherwise blocked by the water. So he came up the, with the idea because the drones come under Ministry of Civil Aviation. They, we had the opportunity to partner with them. We have brought in different companies to come together and bring all those drones. And now we have to the tune of 60, 70 drones which are working in that city, trying to distribute food, milk, water, medical necessities and other things. They're doing surveillance on how much water is there in what area. And tomorrow, once the water recedes, we are going to move into using those dr drones for sanitation also. So, so much potential is there in just one test case. So, how many other test cases do we have? How many other potentials do we have for drones? I think that is one sector which is a very promising sector, drones. We currently have uh, banned the import of drones, so we are doing only local production. We have a, a PLI a scheme for uh, drone production. So, from the ministry, we are trying to encourage more and more of these drone-related activities. But industry has to come forward and provide these innovative solutions and do a ma large scale uh, innovation in this and try to attach themselves with these test cases. So that is one potential. And within the drones, we are talking about the smaller drones which can do these kind of activities. But the bigger drones, which are the vertical takeoff and landing vehicles, which are going to come into uh, a place in the next uh, couple of years, I think that is also another exciting area that we should all look into as a civil aviation industry is how these people, the EVTOLs, electric vertical takeoff or landing vehicles, how when they come in, how it is going to change the whole landscape of civil aviation. I think that is another area that I will leave room for discussion for future, but I am just leaving you the thought that we should still think about drones and EVTOLs also. And uh, other than that, in this summit, I would uh, request that thoroughly you should discuss more on how to improve the air cargo sector and also the MRO sector. We have been doing some changes from our side and Honorable Prime Minister has a grand vision for uh, 2047. But in the Council of Ministers meeting he had recently, he has told that even if we have the grand vision, we have to have smaller targets also, smaller uh, 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 targets where we are having a target for five years, for 10 years. So my suggestion to the PhD today would be for the next 10 years to be one of the global leaders in air cargo and MRO industry. What are the industry suggestions for the next 10 years? What is the way forward? How should we all collectively move uh, forward is something which you can all discuss and present to us as the ministry so that we can work towards achieving the goal of Vixit Bharat 2047. And uh, with this, I personally thank all the PhD. I think it's one of the biggest bodies in the countries today where they are trying to gel the, uh, uh, the policy making and also the industry together and try to do good things for the country ahead. And we are very fortunate that in the civil aviation sector also PhD has been working thoroughly and doing this for the last 10 uh, summits. And uh, I, was, I was thinking that uh, I just got charged as minister and probably within a month or two they came and met me. And they have invited me for this. I was like, what will I have to say? I'm still learning things in civil aviation ministry. But then I thought that it's not me telling what we, we are doing. It's, it's more like what you guys are doing, I should know here. So with that, with that concept, I've come here and I've had a good learning here, listening to other dignitaries. And I feel that after the summit also, once you place in all your discussions and once the deliberations are done, there is going to be a lot of input for us. And I can assure you that from our side, we are committed on collectively moving forward. We are not an individual, we are a team. So we want to work with you. We want to collectively take this country forward and make it a global aviation sector in the future. And for that, uh, we request all the support from all of you. And I once again, thank you for inviting me and for making me the chief guest of this uh, 10th edition of uh, Civil Aviation Summit. And thank you once again to each and every one of you. Thank you.